My thoughts on the new Pokemon Wiglet are, I'm very interested to see what other Pokemon are going to be just like this one. Because obviously Wiglet is not Diglet and not a regional variant. It's a completely different Pokemon that looks like an older Pokemon, but it's not. So I wonder what other Pokemon are going to be like this. Did you know that it took Grookey 46 episodes into the Journey's anime to make an appearance? That is the longest any starter Pokemon has ever taken to debut in their region's anime. Did you know that Lunala loses the most weight of any Pokemon upon evolving? It loses around 880 kilograms when evolving from Cosmoem. Did you know that the Dragalge line are the only poison types introduced in Kalos? Kind of wild, considering they're super effective against fairy types. Did you know that Rotom is the only Pokemon to have more than one unique type combo? It's the only Electric Fire and Electric Ghost type. Did you know that the Rampardos line is the only fossil to have just one typing? My thoughts on the new Pokemon Giraffe are... I'm incredibly happy that an underrated Pokemon such as Girafferig finally got an evolution. Gen 2 needs some love, and Girafferig definitely does too. In Sword and Shield, Chairman Rose is the introductory character, which is normally a role saved for the Professor. He was the first non-Professor character and first antagonist to have this role. Did you know that Oleana is the only member of Marco Cosmos that does not specialize in the Steel type? Did you know that the artist Take designed every single Gym Leader and Galar, as well as many of the important Aether Foundation members? Did you know that Spectre is the only purely Ghost type Pokemon with no evolutionary relative? Did you know that Mustard is the only champion to use a legendary Pokemon in the games? He, of course, uses an Urshifu when you battle him.